How is the first day of kindergarten? <laughs> it's the first day of school in many parts of Florida, and the focus, like all over the country, is on masks. I know you all are requiring masks, but there's an opt-out. How does that opt-out work? So it's pretty simple. We've just asked parents to send a note with their child to school indicating they wish to opt out. Hi. Palm Beach County School Superintendent Michael Burke says the vast majority of kids showed up today in masks. He has to offer an opt out because Florida Governor Ron DeSantis outlawed mask mandates. Would you require masks here if it wasn't for the governor's rule? Yes. I mean, I would have preferred to just require them outright. We've worn these for over a year, you know, so I don't think it was that big a deal to go for another 30 days and hopefully give our community some time to get the spread down. Florida is one of eight states banning mask requirements in schools. Ten states are doing the opposite and requiring masks. The debate is raging in school board meetings from coast to coast. I'd rather have the mask. At least I know that protection is there. Like I told them, keep the mask on and stay as far apart as you can. With all due respect, you are a school board. You are not a medical board. You have no authority. In Dallas and Bear County, Texas, school districts are asking courts to throw out their governor's mask mandate ban. In Florida, the battle getting so intense, Governor DeSantis has threatened to withhold school board members and superintendents' pay if they require masks. But Miami Dade superintendent says that's no deterrent, writing, At no point shall I allow my decision to be influenced by a threat to my paycheck, a small price to pay, considering the gravity of this issue and the potential impact to the health and well-being well-being of our students and dedicated employees. We're going to do whatever we can to vindicate the rights of, of parents and make sure that parents are in the driver's seat when it comes to the, the health, education, and welfare of their kids. Today, Broward County Schools, one of the biggest districts in the entire state of Florida, voted that they will have a mask mandate and they will defy the governor. That means that the superintendent and the board members' salaries could be cut. After they made that vote, the White House came out and said that they could use federal COVID funding to go in and help refund the schools. Also later today, uh, Democrats started posting GoFundMe pages saying that they're going to raise money to pay back some of that funding. Marnie.